So, ladies and gentlemen, remember our main question says, how do we use like terms to help us simplify the expression? Well, when we look at here, you guys can see it. Well, we have, how do we like, like terms to simplify? So remember, like terms are when we have the exact same base and the exact same exponent for our polynomial. So when Logan's looking up here, you'll notice, all right, there's a d squared. Is there any other term that has a d squared in there? And no, so d squared is my only term that I can use. Then I have a negative d. Are there any terms that have a, uh, just a d to the first power? Because remember, we can write this in. And yes, we have this 2d up here. Then lastly, we have two numbers, 5 and 5, right? And those are going to be our like terms as well. So the next thing I want to do is, guys, when we're doing subtraction, I'm going to kind of show you a little trick that I like to use to kind of remember subtraction. When you guys are first learning about adding negative numbers and so forth, you guys had 5, um, 5 plus 4. And I'm sorry, not 5 plus 4. Let's do 5 minus 4. And when we first started talking about negative numbers, we said, how can we rewrite a subtraction problem as an addition problem? And what you learned is you can rewrite it as 5 plus a negative 4. Do you guys remember doing that? Write in a subtraction problem as an addition, right? So what about instead of using 4, I said 5 minus a plus b. How could I rewrite 5 minus a plus b as an addition problem? Well, you can write 5 plus a negative a, negative b. And what I really did was I used the distributive property to distribute that negative sign to both of my terms inside the variable. The same thing works for 5 minus a minus b. It becomes 5 plus a negative a plus b. We're not right now, it's not a good idea, please. Thank you. So 5 plus a negative a plus b, got it? So all I'm doing, guys, instead of doing the subtract problem, I would like to convert this to an addition problem. So what I'll do is I'll distribute the negative sign. So I get d squared minus d plus 5 plus a negative 2d minus 5. All right? Then the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to add these up. What I, actually, never mind. I'll just do it this way. What I'm going to do now is just combine my like terms. So... My d squared, I don't have anything with, right? So I'm just going to bring that down. However, I have a negative d here with a negative 2d now. So negative d minus 2d is going to give me a negative 3d. Then lastly, I have 5 minus 5, which gives me 0. So my final simplified answer just give me d squared minus 3d. Did you ever see how I did that? Make sure if you have subtraction, you can distribute it, distribute that negative sign. Then just only make sure you combine your like terms. If there's nothing to combine, just bring it down to its answer. Combine your like terms, and then you'll get your finalized answer. That's it.